hello welcome to the part three of build custom rom series and in this part we are going to set up our custom rom building environment now if you are a rom developer you'll be quite uh you have to be quite familiar with git github commands uh and then a little bit of uh i mean code editing and you have to know a little bit of linux commands as well so in this video i'm not just going to teach you how to set up the build environment but i'm also going to teach you a little bit of git a uh, git command and even in the next video i'll teach you a little bit uh, more of the git command git pull cherry pick and then the git uh, match commands but for now let's set, let's set up our environment so to do that you need to open your terminal and if you open your terminal in your ubuntu shell the ubuntu sh um, ssh shell you have made you have to type this uh command you have to make sure git is installed so i want to be in the sudo su form so let me just do sudo su to go into super user right and let me just do apt install git All right, GitHub, uh, Git is already installed in the system. So now let's begin setting up our environment. To set up our environment, there's a script that a guy created thanks to Akin Haran for creating this script onto um, GitHub a long time ago. Well, this script is a little bit outdated today. So we are going to uh, edit the script and then change the things that has been outdated to the new ones and then we'll install the script. Well, setting up the environment can take a little bit of stress, but it's easy after all. Okay, now set a kill, a kill hang around. I don't know how to mention this. So, script. Now just click on it. And then click on code. This is the script, so you have to copy it. I have to switch to that mode on this one too. okay now you have copied it just go into the right directory so uh, i just want to put it in this uh, my home directory for that reason you just have to do git clone then the git url that we copied now when we do ls you can see that it has uh, placed it in a script folder so you have to go into the script And inside the script, uh, we have this file inside a uh, build environment. So let's see into the setup folder. And then in the setup folder, we have under build environment, uh, which is what we are going to modify. So to do that, uh, before that, let's run it and let's see which packages are missing and which ones aren't missing. So to run it, just do this. Put a full stop and then press slash and then uh the setup and then android this one hit on enter now it's going to install some tools it will install the tool and then set up the tool for us to just keep moving on and when some of the packages are missing, uh, missing, we just have to run those uh, installation scripts. Uh, we have to look for the latest one and then uh, do the configuration for it. Well, if you run it and everything goes smooth, then I think it's easy. You just don't have to do anything else again. Uh, the, you are just good to go. You just have to update the clank and then we can just begin building the environment. I'm going to let this run. When it finishes, then I'll unpause the video. The installation is done successfully. The setting up of environment is done successfully. So now let's check our Clang version to see the current version is in. Alright, cool. This version is good to go. So in case some of the package appear to be missing, what you have to do is to copy that name of the package and then make sure that you uh, search it by using the AP, apt search then the package name. You understand so let's say uh, i've been having 
error with this package called lip cases uh, five, right? So uh, it sets it, but I couldn't see it. But uh, it's lip n cases five. You can see we have the lip n cases five there, and then the lip n cases five. So if you were to be on Ubuntu twenty. Uh, uh, 3 or 24 it might uh, be lip n case is 6 instead of case is 5 okay so to be able to identify the specific package and the name just search the uh, package name which is the lip n cases and you see all the package that are available for it you can see that we have the lip uh, n cases 6 even there and then we have the others there you understand so if in case the package appear to be missing just look for the right name and then install them the system will identify automatically and then you are going to move on with that well in the next video i'll be uh, teaching a little bit of uh, git commands so you learn uh, github so that in case you uh, you need it throughout the course because we are going to be using git a lot we are going to be depending on it so well happy uh, and then thank uh, this guy Ak akhen naran for being able to make this script, making everything easier for custom ROM developers. Uh, you can check him out on GitHub. He's a very good guy. So that is it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.